in a healthy society, a practical progressivism and a moderate thoughtful conservatism act to complement each other so that moderate useful reforms can be achieved and social order and harmony can be maintained while gradually making things better for everyone. In this case, the progressive impulse seeks to improve things, particularly for previously overlooked marginalized demographics, and the conservative input ensures that any reform would be practical rather than abstract. Consistent with the spirit of long-standing traditions and includes adequate compromise to satisfy the concerns of various stakeholders. The problem with the Western political landscape right now is that moderate practical progressives are bullied into silence by hardline revolutionaries who want a total destruction of the status quo. And moderate practical conservatives are bullied into silence by hardline reactionaries who want to turn back the clock, breaking long-standing rules and institutions if necessary. The extremists on both sides hold that it is weak to compromise and want no less than total victory over the other side, and also over the moderate center. The dominance of the extremists and the silence of the moderates makes compromise impossible to achieve. It leads to endless stalemate, frustration, and further polarization. The only way to get out of this situation is for moderates to reassert themselves, so that the healthy situation of practical progressives working together with moderate conservatives can be restored. Contrary to what the extremists say, it is actually the bravest thing to do to demand that everybody compromise. On the other hand, it would be an act of irresponsible cowardice for moderates on both sides to continue to let the extremists march forward, unchecked.